how can you become involved in this? We know that's a very important question that has been raised with us many times. As members of the public and as Canadians, we know that reconciliation is important to you because when you think about your past and how you were educated about Aboriginal people and, and the Aboriginal history of this country, we know that you must understand and you must feel that something has been missing in what it is that you have been told. So many people who have heard the story of the residential school experience in this country have told us that they didn't know any of this and that they're astonished at how much went on in those schools and how much went on in that history that they were not aware of. And as a result, when people are made aware of it, one of the questions that we're asked is, well, what can I do about that? What can we do about that as a community? And there are a number of things that you need to think about doing. First of all, you need to inform yourself. You need to be aware of what this story is all about because we want you to pass that information and awareness on to your children and to your grandchildren so that their relationship with the Aboriginal people of this country will also be strong, as strong as it could have been, as strong as it should have been from the very beginning. We know that there are lots of people out there who are eager to become engaged in this discussion. If you have some thoughts on what reconciliation means about how it can be achieved, we welcome you to send those thoughts to us at the Commission and we'll pass them on to others. We'll put them into our thinking when it comes to what it is that we have to say about the question. But more importantly, by expressing your thoughts to us in that way, it may allow you as well to develop your thinking about reconciliation.